Hello friends, how are you doing? In this video, we are going to talk about how many number of pages are presented in a PDF document. So, um, I have one custom activity here, which is developed by someone else. I'm going to show you that here. If you see, I am passing one PDF file as an input and let me run this and show you the output. Then we'll see how to implement. We have got 310 as an output. Let me open on this. As you can see, number of pages are 310. Okay, and this is a book, guys. Uh, cracking the coding interviews. Actually, if somebody is interested in programming and they want to uh, learn more, this is a perfect book. So that's why I have taken this as an example. It's it's fun reading this, and also it, you can learn a lot of things from this. So, uh, so let me get started here. So uh, this is one of the interview question that asked me when I give an interview on UA path. So uh, at that time, I don't know. And uh, there is a different process as well that I need to explore. This uh, I have found from, from uh, manage packages. There is some package available. I just went to this manage packages and type PDF because I am looking for some uh, PDF activities. Uh, PDF package might be missing in my laptop that then I found this if you see here You see here this one PDF activities by Nitin Safaya is a one which I have installed Here and uh, from there I have used this activity. So if you just go here and type PDF here you might be getting so many activities here like get pages, read between the pages, read full PDF like this. Okay, so I just used read pages here and since it is a custom activity straightforward thing just it will ask for input of the PDF file and it will throw the output. You don't need to know about inside logic. Okay, so you can pass here as well since I don't like that I've created one uh, variable called path as a variable type and I have passed that PDF file path. Okay, you need to go here and pass the path. Okay, get the path and pass it here. And I have taken RVS and and I'm used for the message box. Okay, just to print how many number of pages are there. Okay, so my question is, you might be having a question like, why I need to know the number of pages? Okay and is it really important okay so at times when you are dealing with pdf you need to you know before processing some some things in pdf it's better to know that how many pages are there in the pdf whether the pdf is empty or not if it is empty then there is no need to process you just need to give some if and else and you just need to uh, come out okay with some other violation let's say like if uh, I need to go to the second page second page of the PDF and read some content let's say right like that okay contents okay but if pages itself not available not available what you will do okay in this kind of scenarios, what I am telling is just get use if else here. Just get the count here. The above example get count of pages. If it is zero, then do something. If it is more than one, do other things. Like this kind of scenarios, we can use this number of pages concept, guys. I hope it's useful. To you guys and do subscribe to my channel for more videos so here the activity is pdf extension activities by nitin okay i hope it's useful thank you so much for watching